On December 13th, 2013, Beyonce dropped her digital album, Beyonce. The self-titled album was a surprise gift that featured 14 songs and 17 videos. This move essentially shifted the way artists rolled out their albums and engaged with social media. Self-titled, there were artists that had released music digitally via iTunes, um, Spotify, things like that. But this was the first time that an artist had released an album completely by surprise across all platforms and it pretty much broke the internet. So everybody from late night TV shows, morning re news reporters, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the different social media, they li all were talking about it. So, and luckily it included, well not luckily, it, it did include a bunch of songs that were all very they could all pretty much be singles individually but actually made a cohesive album from start to finish and each video each song had an accompanying video as well and so when we talk about marketing and with artists in the past this was something that was completely different and really kind of raised the bar because right after that that all the major artists kind of pretty much started to do the same thing. The artists of, you know, from Drake to Jay-Z, Rihanna, these artists started to drop music digitally, but also drop video, music videos to kind of accompany it as well, which actually kind of works out because it takes a lot of the pressure of having to have a marketing strategy or marketing plan for a year out that includes tours and music videos when you can shoot everything back to back to back and then that'll give you enough material for a few for the first six months of the year and then the last six months of the year you are out on tour a world tour and then once the year is up you successfully completed an entire marketing promotion with pretty much you know having to do without having to do a lot of major work and at the end of the day it ends up becoming really lucrative which is why Beyonce's tours are some of the best-selling tours in history. So I definitely think going forward, we will, because of that impact, we'll start to see more and more artists kind of rethink their marketing and their um, just digital and social media. On April 23rd, 2016, Beyonce released her second visual album, Lemonade. It tackled topics such as standing up for black women infidelity and redemption the album included hits such as formation sorry and freedom which featured a guest verse from kendrick lamar the impact that i think lemonade had was a lot of females leaving their boyfriends <laughs> their toxic boyfriends the ones that wasn't acting right and i feel like it caused them to have like the level of attitude that they needed like the self-esteem or like um just the drive to move forward and keep pushing. Don't go lemonade is sorry about Beyonce because <laughs> because she basically telling women to boss up and don't be treated any type of way and just move on and don't be sorry for it. <laughs> In 2019, Beyonce released her concert documentary Homecoming through Netflix. The two hour and seven minute film is based on Beyonce's 2018 performance at Coachella, where she made history as the first African American woman to headline the festival. The performance, which earned the nickname Beachella, is a celebration. So, with Homecoming, I think Homecoming was a turning point for Beyonce. It, she really helped bring the HBCU experience that she wasn't able herself to experience um, to 
a mass audience. And it was her way of showing, bringing what we as, you know, that black people have done for years at different HBCUs across the country during homecoming, a celebration of education and just family coming all together. She brought that to Coachella and pretty much immersed them into her world. And it really helped to kind of open up a lot of people's eyes to, you know, things that they typically wouldn't experience otherwise. Um, I think with the after effect of it was, you know, her as well as other artists and celebrities that have influence took that influence and were able to start uh, donating to different HBCUs, helping them and their different academic departments or their different um, clubs and bands and everything to kind of pretty much elevate them prior to what they had before. And it did it and it pretty much was a it was a good thing, but at the same time it did come from it did have a lot of backlash as usual because with anything that Beyonce does, she's always gonna be put on a pedestal. And there's always going to be critics just as much as there's going to be, you know, people that are going to celebrate her. And a lot of people, a lot of the negative impact that it had was that people felt she was kind of isolating herself or isolating, you know, black people to, you know, pr pretty much create a whole type of segregation aspect when in actuality that's not what she was doing at all. She was pretty much trying to tell people this is what this is how we celebrate our culture. This is one scope of how we celebrate our culture and we're inviting you in. And also for Beyonce that was a huge deal because she was the first black woman to headline Coachella in its entire existence. And she has since been the only headliner of Coachella to also end up having a deal that stemmed from that, which was her Netflix deal, to where it was basically a rebroadcast of that entire performance. And since then, the stage that she designed, she had designed for that show is still showcased at Coachella two years later. So that goes to show you that the type of impact that she, the lasting impression that she's had since then. And it, the good thing about Homecoming is that it kind of brought the old fans back to, you know, be, to the beehive, like they say, because that, it was literally a rundown of songs from the Destiny's Child days all the way into like her most current things. So there were li there literally was a song for every type of person that was a fan, is a fan, or will become or has become a fan since then. Because there has never been an artist that has put on a show of that scale in the time frame that they gave her. And we really get a chance to look into that with the Netflix special that accompanied it. And since then, it just go it it really gave an in depth look at how hard how hard she had to work to kind of get back into performance ready shape from having a set of twins and having an extremely difficult birth and to having it look flawless on stage and us not even realizing that any of this was going on behind the scenes. So that just is another way to show you how powerful and how strong women and especially black women are in general and see in addition to going on several tours this decade including the world formation tour and on the run too beyonce also released the lion king the gift in collaboration with the live action remake of the disney classic the lion king I'm not sure how Beyonce will outdo herself in this next decade, but what I do know is that I will be here for whatever she gives us. <laughs>